Hi everyone, in this video, I'm going to give an overview of our work called a learning loop invariance for program verification. Program verification is to formally prove the correctness of a program. Our logic is a fundamental approach to achieve such goal. The general idea is to reason the program step by step by following a number of logical rules as shown here. However, the wire rule requires something called loop invariant, and finding a loop invariant for a given program is an undesirable problem. A loop invariant is a logical rule that tells properties about the variables. This rule should satisfy three conditions, namely pre, invariant, and post conditions. Fortunately, it is relatively easy to check whether a candidate loop invariant is correct by using an automated theorem prover such as these three. So, it is natural to formulate it as a bandit problem. The agent keeps proposing loop invariants, and the checker tells whether the proposed one is correct or not. So, one can see the positive reward is only received when you actually solve the problem. This is quite difficult for reinforcement learning algorithms because of the sparsity and non-smoothness of the reward. Another interesting challenge is, suppose we have found loop invariants for several programs. Can we gain some insights and find the answer faster for new programs? To solve the sparsity issue of the reward function, let's take a closer look at the checker. Every time when the proposed solution is rejected, the checker will provide a counterexample, example, which is an assignment of the variables. So, as the interaction with the checker grows, we can collect a set of counterexamples examples for each stage. Using the fraction of counterexamples examples passed, we can interpolate the reward smoothly between 0 and 1. Furthermore, we will only call the checker when all the contact examples are passed. This can further reduce the this recourse. The solution for generalization is a graph representation module for SourceCov. By using graph neural networks, we can get a transferable representation for new programs. Here is our framework. In each step, the policy network generates a predicate, which is a part of the final solution. Besides the final smooth reward we just talked about, we also provide intermediate reward to guarantee the validness of the predicates. To evaluate our framework, we collect a set of benchmark programs. Each program contains a single loop and arbitrarily nested if else branches. We first treat the code to environment as an out-of-the-box solver for a particular program. Overall, our method solves more instances with fewer number of these three calls. We can also solve a comparable number of instances within one hour time limit. To evaluate the generalization ability, we randomly mutate the program by adding confounding variables. In this limited setting, we can get programs with same underlying semantics. As one can see, with proper pre-training, our tool gets better sample complexity than solving from scratch. <laughs> 